What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here and I'd like to welcome you guys to the game update for the month of March. Uh, I'm already in tank tops, it's that hot out man, it's, I mean as I'm recording it's actually the end of February, but still, we don't actually get warm weather up in Canada until, well at least where I live, um, until like maybe April or May, but it is so hot lately man, it's ridiculous, so we're gonna have an early spring, so I'm happy about that. But, that's not what we're here to talk about, we're here to talk about the releases this month, I got quite a few on the agenda and I'm really excited, I'm actually insanely surprised at how many games are actually coming out uh, this month and this time of the year, like even February was crazy, March is crazy, like there's no break and that's great, I love having busy times, I love keeping you guys with new content. So, let's get into the new games. Now, right off the get-go, March 1st, uh, depending on when I'm uploading this as of today. I'm going to say today because I'm going to post this like super early or at the end of February. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, but anyway, now this game, I'm not 100% sure I'm doing. Actually, I'm going to mention two games I'm not 100% sure I'm doing. You guys let me know. Um, Heavy Rain PS4 Edition. Now, I played Heavy Rain on PS3 back in the day, like a long time ago when it came out. Uh, it was a great series. Uh, everybody loved my series on that. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people subscribe for Heavy Rain back in the day, but I'm wondering, I, I know who, I know the game very well, I know how to get the best endings, etc, etc, would you guys like me to do a Heavy Rain PS4 edition, because it's been so long, uh, Quantum Dream is releasing a special pack for it, a re-release pack, uh, you can also get, um, Beyond Two Souls with it as well if you want, but we just did Beyond Two Souls. It might have been on PS3, but it wasn't that long ago, so we're not. Gonna, I don't, I'm not going to go get that one again. But um, let me know what you think of Heavy Rain. Should I do another Let's Play on that? Yes or no? Uh, another game I'm not sure about that I read about uh, that looks pretty solid is Alakine's Gun. Uh, hopefully. It'll come out on the 1st, well that's what it says, it may come out on the 11th, I don't know, I'm getting mixed things here, uh, it says, like on Steam it says it comes out the 11th, but everywhere else it's saying the 1st, it's weird, I don't know, because I'd like to do it on PC if possible, that's always, the, that's always the, the dream, or always how I'd like to do it is on PC, so let me know if, you're, if you'd be interested in that kind of a game as well. Also coming out the 1st, really excited for this, the Mortal Kombat X Combat Pack 2, so excited. They're not releasing them as individual characters like they have been, so they're going to release the entire pack at once. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that bad boy. And uh, there's, I think, what, the four characters, right? Is, that, is it four? Yeah, I think there's four, four characters in the combat pack. I'm especially excited for the Xenomorph, and I'm going to definitely do an Alien vs. Predator. I mean, who isn't? It's going to be fantastic. So I hope you guys tune in for that. All right, jumping ahead about a week's time. It'll all, you'll probably see gameplay before that, but uh, The Division... On PC, it comes out on the uh, 8th of March, but like I said, I have contacts at Ubisoft, and they, usually, they send me games earlier, so I, you'll probably end up seeing that a little bit earlier, so I was looking forward to that. I played the beta a little while ago, and I really enjoyed it. I have a good feeling about this game. Uh, Ubisoft hasn't done an action RPG. I don't know if they've done it at all, or I don't know. Nothing's really coming to mind, but from what I played, it seemed pretty fun, so I'm interesting, interested to see where it's going to go, how it's going to be taken there, and what it's going to be like all overall as a finished package. So, The Division, that's coming out this month. All right. Um, a few days after that, also, to make a mention, uh, I'll, I'll probably be getting this game early because I also have a contact with Square Enix. Uh, I'm super excited. I'm getting Hit, uh, Hitman, the 2016 Hitman, on PC. I've actually ordered, see what I do is, uh, a lot of these game publishers send me games, right? I end up getting those, but I also like to scout, scour the internet uh, for a special edition version or a collector's edition version of the game if it exists. And the Hitman collector's edition, it, I'm getting it. I went ahead and bought that sucker. Hopefully it'll come out around the same time so you will see a game unboxing. I've stopped unboxing games just randomly and I only unbox games that are special, limited, or collector's editions. Just because it makes more sense. Like, you know, this is not much... Like, most of my games I get digitally anyway and on PC nowadays. So, if the game does... If the game is... Uh, if the game is in uh, a collector's edition format, I will buy it on my own and unbox it for you guys. So you have that to look forward to. I'm really excited. It looks the collector's edition looks solid, so I'm pretty excited there. Uh, and that, by the way, by the way, um, that isn't. I don't know if you guys heard, but they're releasing Hitman episodically, so it won't be the full game. It'll be the intro chapters, and then like a few months later, there'll be more and more and more. So uh, unfortunately, I mean, instead of releasing it as a whole, they I to, to personally, I would prefer that they kind of released it all at once, you know, release it in August when there's nothing else, and I could focus all my time on Hitman, because I know you guys love Hitman, it's, uh, everybody loves, it. I, I love Hitman, 
I've been playing Hitman Go lately. It's pretty damn fun. Few people haven't really found it all that great. Some people, because they're not into puzzle games, but I think you should guys at least check out some gameplay and see what you think about it. But uh, yeah, so it'll be the intro chapters. It'll kind of be like a prologue, except there'll be more to it. There's a... Uh, uh, a bunch of chapters in one one city, you know what I mean? You do a bunch of cities, you do like, or however it works. There's just a bunch of levels in the intro section. So the prologue or the beta was the prologue to the current game. So it brings you up to speed and kind of gives you a feel for the new game. But this upcoming intro chapters, uh, those are going to be actually the first little section of the game. And then we'll see more as we go along because they're going to be updating it as it goes. So that I'm excited for. So there won't be as much Hitman as we would have hoped. But there's going to be Hitman, so we can't really complain. All right. Also, and I totally didn't... I knew this was coming out, but I didn't remember when. I didn't I didn't know when. I had heard about it, and I'm like, I should probably do that. Because um, I don't know if you guys remember. I think it was 2014. 2014, that sounds about right. Uh, yeah, that would make sense. Um, EA Sports UFC came out, and I started playing it. It got some good reception. It got... You know, a lot of people were watching that series, but I ended up not doing it because of all the copyright. The copyright was brutal. And it was just like, an, I barely got those videos done. I barely got those videos uploaded, allowed to be uploaded. Uh, so I ended up kind of stopping. But I've been playing a lot of UFC. Whenever I go to my buddy's house, we play UFC. And I got better and better and better as we went along. So I figured like I should stick to my career mode and just not include UFC, you know, like stuff. You know what I mean? Like no UFC um uh, like actual footage because they use real-time footage or at least they did because you sorry I haven't even mentioned you EA Sports UFC 2 this is what I'm talking about the new game uh, comes out the 15th uh, I think I'll be doing that properly this time uh, I'll get that sucker on PS4 uh, yeah so it, I'll probably do a career mode and start from the bottom maybe make my way up and just work on it because I don't know. I, there's probably a lot of work I can do my buddy has a certain method of playing and every time I play with him he always just like uh, you know kind of spam something you know what I mean? So it's just like, okay, about that. You know what I mean? So uh, I got to figure out more than one way to do it. So I think that'd be a good idea. Please let me know if you think you, EA Sports UFC 2 would be a good idea. Like I said, though, the last one did really well, even though I only had a few videos up for it. Uh, people wanted me to keep that going. So I think with UFC 2, I'll probably go ahead and actually finish the career, just cut out any sort of copyrighted videos and things like that uh, that aren't necessary. You know what I mean? And it, it's just going to have to be the way it is. But other than that, that's what we hope for. So it's going to be awesome. So anyway, that's just something that's on my radar as well. And finally, don't know have don't have an exact release. A lot of people have been asking me about this, which is kind of funny because I don't know why you assume, why you would think I wouldn't. But the first uh, season pass DLC for Fallout for the is it automation? No, it, I, I it oh it's 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 automatron, isn't it? Automatron. I put it in my tablet here, so like I read off what games I'm doing and stuff. I put it in as automatron and it changed it to automation. Thanks, tablet. I didn't even notice. I don't have my glasses on, so that was stupid. Automatron, I believe it's called. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but uh, the automatron DLC, uh, it's the first bit, and then you'll get another DLC the month after, and then the month after that. Uh, but these, the, I don't think this is a major story thing. It could be. I think it's a new companion with companion quests. So we're gonna have to see what goes on with that. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I know about that in term. We don't have an exact release. Someone may have mentioned when it is, but so far all they said it's coming out in March. That's all we really know at the moment. So that could be any time. That could be any Tuesday. It's gonna be a Tuesday. Let's be honest here. But we have that, and I've already pre pre purchased my season pass, and we're pretty much ready to go for that. Now that's it for new releases. Now I want to touch. Oops, I want to touch base on this um, because a lot of people have been wondering, or a couple people have been wondering anyway. Uh, I don't know why this is, but people people are assuming that I'm not going to do the next game, the Jedi Knight series. It's so funny because after each game that I finish, or even at the beginning of each game, I've mentioned that I'll be moving, I'm doing an entire series. You know what I mean? I'm not just doing this game and quitting. Like, it makes no sense just for me to do, like, the second game or the expansion pass and just not keep going with the game. It just doesn't make sense. So, I finished Dark Forces. Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith, and Jedi Knight Jedi Outcast, which leaves one more game in the Jedi Knight franchise, Jedi Academy. And a lot of people are like, Dan, are you going to play Jedi Academy? And I'm like, yes, I will. And a lot of other people are going to be like, Dan, where the hell is Jedi Academy? You said you were going to play it like you promised, blah, blah, blah. Just because I promised it, yeah, and I, I'm not going back on that promise. I just haven't done it yet. As a lot of people don't know, um, 
new games always take priority over the old ones. The old games, I usually dip into the old games whenever there's a, a, a nothing to do, you know, a lot of free time. Like, I have to have something to do. I have to have an, a series to post for you guys. So with that being said, I, I figured that made the most sense. That was the best bet, you know what I mean, was to uh, do the Jedi Knight series. So unfortunately, uh, I'm, I'm still doing Jedi Academy, I promise. I wouldn't leave it hanging like that, I swear. But there's so much content coming out, I cannot promise when I'll get to it. Maybe I'll get to it at the end of this month. I don't know. But as you've seen from this list, this March is busy, busy, busy. Maybe in April, there's a few months down the road. Like, I think April or May. I'm not even sure. I think April's actually kind of loose. So we might be able to pick it up there. I just don't want to have six series on the go. I hate having that many series because then everybody's asking, more this, more that, none of this, none of that, more this. And I, there's, there's no compromise with people. Everyone wants what they want and they only want one thing. And, and everything else I'm not allowed to post or play. So... For those of you who are, for those of you who have been waiting for Jedi Academy, I thank you for your patience. Forgive me, but that's just the way things go. I have a lot of games on the go, a lot of new games. Um, and Jedi Academy, Jedi Knight, not everybody likes Jedi Knight. Um, so I just want to accommodate as many people as I can over the next little bit. But I promise you, I will be finishing up the Jedi Knight series with Jedi Academy. Hopefully sooner rather than later. But like I said, we got some pretty big, con lots of content coming out. I'm still working on some other games right now. Pretty much done them. Far Cry Primal is basically finished. Uh, actually, by the time this goes live, I'm not sure if I'll actually have it done or not. But uh, a lot of people were funny because I, I don't know how many videos I'll have posted by this but on Far, on Far Cry. But uh, there's quite a few... <laughs> there's quite a few there's quite a few videos and I'm way ahead of the pack so whatever you're seeing I'm way ahead of it I'm either done the game by now or I'm near the end of it and I have like as I'm recording this actually I'm not gonna say that because like I said as I record I record pre-record videos so this I'm actually recording this on February 26th I think Is it the 26th today yeah it's February 26th but you'll be seeing this on the 1st or the 29th I'm not sure so uh, yeah I figured I would just let you guys know that as well um, but anyway sorry one other thing, before going into that, um, I'm trying to. I'm probably going to end up doing another Ask Dan Q. I've decided to make those kind of a monthly thing, and what I've decided to kind of do is base it off of the first Saturday of each month. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time. This coming Saturday on the fifth, I'll make it. I'll make a. I'll make a stream thing so you guys get notified. Um, but I'll probably be doing another Ask Dan Q. It won't be as long. Everyone's like, no, Dan, stay longer, stay longer. I can't. It's just making it's making it too long. You can't do a monthly series three hours every time. I think I'm going to make it an hour and a half tops. No longer than an hour and a half because I'll have to get to recording some stuff. Um, if you missed the stream, I apologize. But it'll be a monthly thing, I think. I think people like that. I think, I think people like that I'm bringing Ask Dan Q back as a monthly thing, especially as a stream so I can answer questions on the fly. And yeah, I think that's a good idea. So if you're interested, you didn't get to see the last one, or you did like the last one, and you want to see another one, you want to, or your question never ended up getting answered, um, be sure to check it out. I'll be I'll be mentioning it later on, and I'll post the link as well uh, on on social media and things like that. That way you guys can see it, and you can come join and ask me questions. One thing about that that I'd like to mention. If, you ha if your question doesn't get answered, don't take it personally. A lot of people take it personally. It's crazy. Like I'll get people tweeting it's like, damn. Why didn't you answer my question? Like, what the hell? Are you ignoring me? No. I don't think you're seeing the same thing I am. There's an insane amount of comments that go through it. Some comments are very, uh, very rude, very, um, not towards me necessarily, but I've had some racism before and they're like, Dan, say racist comment. You know what I mean? I'm not going to say that kind of crap. And there's just some stuff that needs filtering. So maybe I should get some moderators in there. But I have an idea of a couple people who might fill the bill. But anyway, that's going to happen hopefully this coming Saturday on uh, the 5th of March. So, like I said, any questions you have in the comments below, any games you feel like I missed, comments below. In terms of Nintendo games, can't play them, copyright. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Pretty much got that all squared, I think. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you an idea of what's to come. I hope you can enjoy some of the gameplay that's to come. If you enjoyed this video, though, Hit that like button, favorite it as well. Share it with your friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, please, I implore you to follow me on my social media. Those are all down below in the description and we'll play at the end card of this video as well. Um, also, uh, if you're interested, you want to get yourself a Danku 8000 t-shirt or hoodie, link in the description for that. 
Uh, I got a new one. It's a Team 8000 jersey. I still haven't had a chance to order mine yet, but I will be getting it. It's awesome. I think you should check it out. I've already had quite a few people buy them, and they're super happy with how they look. So I'm happy about that, too. Great, great. I'm, I'm happy as hell. If you do end up getting one, send it to me on social media. Send it to me on Twitter. Send it to me on uh, Instagram. I want to see your guys' stuff. Rep the Team 8000 brand. So go check that out. Spreadshirt shop in the description. Thanks so much again, guys. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you for plenty of gameplay, as you can see, this coming month. And lots of more stuff, too, coming up. So stay tuned. Take it easy. Let's hand things over to Knox Hill. And we'll take, see you guys in the next one. Peace, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent. And hit you 8,000. Wait a minute. Hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens. Sea shots flying. So we driving fire back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers Gotta breathe them hard just like the Vader Players, grab your respirators Night invaders get lightsabered Mass on for the shooters Move like trash to bed intruder Got that Glock and got them woofers Just press play, I'll keep it moving Who is Knox? Who you damn fools? Keep it fresh like canned food There ain't nothing we can't do So tune into that damn Q Yeah It was never, ever A game